I'm meteorologist Caitlin McGrath and we are tracking the tropics as we head closer to the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. Plenty of activity continuing to pick up. We've got Tropical Storm Harold that formed overnight right now working its way through the Gulf of Mexico, making landfall in South Texas later this afternoon. We also have Tropical Storm Franklin turning very slowly to the south of the Dominican Republic. That's also set to make landfall sometime early Wednesday morning and Tropical Storm Gert is continuing to lose steam, has barely any tropical characteristics at all and will diminish into an area of low pressure as we head throughout Tuesday afternoon and a 30% chance of development in the next 48 hours for a wave moving in off the coast of West Africa. But let's take a closer look at Harold. Right now, a tropical storm winds at 45 miles per hour, moving to the west northwest at 18 miles per hour. This puts it just to the south of Corpus Christi later this afternoon, making landfall as a tropical storm. So, of course, you can expect those tropical storm force winds in addition to some really heavy rain. A lot of moisture being picked up in the warm Gulf of Mexico. Once the storm starts to interact with land, it will weaken pretty quickly. But Right now there are tropical storm watches and warnings stretching from just the south of Houston all the way down through Corpus Christi and points off to the south. So if you do have loved ones in the area or any property, make sure you're checking in, making sure everyone is staying safe as we continue to watch Harold inch a little bit closer to Texas. We also have tropical storm Franklin moving very slowly to the west around three miles per hour. Now this tropical storm with winds up to 50 miles per hour is expected to make a northward turn as we head throughout the day today. That would bring landfall right over the Dominican Republic overnight Wednesday into Wednesday afternoon. This is also posing a big threat for Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico expecting some really locally heavy rain, making landslides and mudslides possible, catastrophic, potentially life threatening flooding expected in the area. So similar story. If you have any loved ones or interest in the area, make sure you make sure everyone has a plan in place. Now, as this storm continues to move away from the Dominican Republic back into the warm Atlantic, it is expected to strengthen and make a turn heading northeast to eventually northwest as we head into the weekend. So Franklin will be watching for several days, even though landfall is expected tomorrow. So Harold was our eighth named storm of the season. The next storm that does get named, whether it's that wave of low pressure moving out the coast of Africa or another storm that forms would be Adalia. So we are quickly heading into the peak of hurricane season, which is officially September 10th. A good reminder that we'll be keeping an eye on the traffics here for the next couple of months.